In this School Fusion tutorial, we're going to take a look at what it looks like when a student takes a quiz that you have set up in School Fusion. So as an instructor, I have already created a quiz in School Fusion and I have activated it. I have logged in as a student so that you can see what a student sees when they log in to take a quiz. So they will see a quizzes tool on their screen and the more quizzes you create, the more things you will have down here. So each time they log in, they'll be able to see the score for that particular quiz if they've taken a quiz. I have one quiz that is active. So as a student, I'm going to go ahead and click on that quiz name to take that quiz. And it tells me that Fusion page members may only take this quiz once and that I can finish the remainder if I don't complete it the first time through. Then I see my quiz rules. These are the things that the options that you, the teacher, set up when you set up the quiz. I see how many questions the quiz has. I see how many seconds I have to answer each question, how many points I get for each right question, and how many points I will lose for each missed question or if I run out of time. When I'm ready, I'll click Start Quiz. I will see the quiz question. I will be given my choices, and I also see the counter down here at the bottom counting down the number of time, uh, the amount of time that I have left to answer the questions. Now, I do think that this is can be a little distracting to some students, so if you think students are going to be bothered by the amount of time that they have, then I would make that a really big number to count down so that they're not so distracted by that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and answer the question, and I'll answer it wrong so that you can see what, the, what happens. As soon as the student presses the answer, they will be told if the answer is right or wrong, and if it's wrong, they will be given the correct answer. So immediately, they know how they did on each question, and if they got it wrong, they are given the right answer. So I really like that feature of this quiz. All right, when they're ready to go on, they simply click the go on arrow here. And since I only had one question in this quiz, I am then presented with my quiz stats when the quiz is over. It tells me how many questions I answered correctly and how many questions I answered incorrectly. And then it gives me my final score based on the options that you set up for scoring the quiz. And then when I'm done, I can go ahead and click finish. Now, when I have been testing this, this is what I get after I click finish. And you can see here, I'm clicking finish and nothing is happening. So when they get to the second screen, they are are done and we can tell that by if I would happen to refresh my browser just to see it tells me that there are no questions in this quiz I may have already completed it so if I go back to the fusion home page I can see that I have taken that quiz and what my score was so that second finish option where you can't click anything that really indicates that the student is done with the quiz in the next tutorial, we'll look at how um, the scores are presented to the teacher.